Hi, I want to share this little project that I just completed. This is for Junk Journal Junkies. It's a swap that's currently going on um, until November 10th is the cutoff. It has to be finished and your video or your posting of your pictures have to be on the Facebook group by that date. But I embellished this with aged canvas and this is unrefined parchment and cheesecloth and these are leaves from my yard that I pressed and I cut down some lace this kind of looks like a picket fence so I thought that was kind of cute and then I sealed it off with a heavier Mod Podge but that is the outside let's go on the inside the inside has to be embellished too and I just used an antique print and this originally was from like the I think the late 1700s. I just thought the colors were very autumn like because that is the theme autumn. And this is a little junk journal that I created. This is from Edith Holden's book. I just cut it out and put it in there as a, a label for the book. This is a little pocket and this little vial is a watch maker's parts file that I ended up inserting one of the stick pins from Tim Holtz and then attached it to this little safety pin. Then I've also included this little autumn book that I created. These are little leaves from my yard again and some lace, a little dictionary entry. And they have um little pressed flowers. Actually, it's the same book that was with the image on the inside of the Altoids can. And then the closure, I used just coffee, coffee stained seam binding that I attached to the inside and front and back cover. This is a little, little teeny library card. This was a tintype photo that I had that I scanned and shrunk down and mounted on some aged paper, a little leaf. I added, I sewed some lace to quite a few of the pages. This was a seed packet from the old design shop. One of Julie's uh, free images. And this is from Denise's shop, a little glycine bag. Put a bunch of extra little embellishments in there and it makes a tuck on this side. The little teeny autumn postcard. This is a little tuck I put on this Edith Holden book page. It's the back side of it. And this is a poem from the Edith Holden book. I just gave it a torn look and edged it with some Tim Holtz walnut stain. This is a little postcard that I shrank down and this is a little teeny tuck there. This is a Tim Holtz craft glycine envelope that I embossed. Another little fall postcard that I shrank down. Another fall image that I attached to some unrefined parchment and then I put it on this ledger paper which is from the late 1800s and so is this choir paper and some of that unrefined parchment. I just love the color of it and the sound. Here's another image from the old design shop, the Julie's freebies that she sends out to her email list. This was a page from Edith Holden, a pretty image. And then I hid my pamphlet stitch inside this little envelope, little leaf postcard. It's postmarked in November, I think, like the late 1900s, maybe early 1900s. And here's another fall postcard. It's 
more of that unrefined paper. Here's a little vintage tag that I embellished, like Jibbit does with the leaves. Use it as a journaling card. And here's another little index card that I cut down and antiqued. I embossed some paper and made a little pocket. Here's the back side of the choir paper and some more of that ledger. Here's the other side of this craft glycine bag and I just put a little poem from the, it's a portion of the poem from the Edith Holden book about autumn. And on that page I just spelled out autumn. And here's a little tag I made. I put it behind this little ticket tuck. <laughs> Pretty image from Edith Holden's book. The other side of that image. This is a image two ladies once um, pouring some looks like gasoline in her friend's mouth I, I own the antique photo of that I just thought it was so cute and funny another postcard and some antique paper here's that back pocket with another little antique postcard and that's it I hope my swap partner likes it can't wait to see what I'm gonna get thanks for letting me share